Hi everybody, welcome back. I hope that you're doing well. I haven't been on here for at least a month, maybe a month and a half. I thought I'd come on, say hi. Hope that you all had a happy Hanukkah, Merry Christmas, um, whatever you celebrate, and that you have a great coming 2021. Okay, I went to uh, Ulta today and I have a really little mini haul just a few, just three makeup products and a facial mask. Now I'm not gonna do this one today. Well, I'll do it, but not on camera. But I got this in a one of my bask my boxes, and I really liked it. It brightened my skin so nice. So I saw it today at Ulta, and I actually didn't remember I got it in the box. Sorry, I'm playing with my hair. Um, until I got in the car and I was looking at it again, I'm like, I've tried this before and I really did like it. I love things that say glow. I love that it's things that say brighten. Um, I get quite a lot of hyperpigmentation from having lupus. It's just one of those things with my skin and a lot of people that have lupus have sun sensitivity. No matter if I use uh sunblock or not which i always do i still will get dark spots and so i find using things like this are really nice for my skin they brighten it up maybe they won't brighten it up for a long time but for a few days my skin looks pretty good okay so this has a goji berry extract which brightens complexion for a dewy finish it's right there it also has cacao and shea butter uh, it says not heavy, just ultra hydrating, which it is. And it has coffee seed extract. So it says bye-bye puffy morning face. Sometimes I do get puffy around my whole face in the morning. So I'm going to try this in the morning, night, whenever I feel like my skin needs to be bright. And you just uh, use this for like five minutes. It's one of those like creamy masks and then you rinse off. It's uh, caffeinated to promote collagen, which I didn't know, notice or didn't know that caffeine promotes collagen, but why not? Uh, five minutes to glowy skin, and I can attest that the sample size I had did make me look very glowy and bright. And deep puffs, puffy face. Uh, what else can I tell you about this? It is a product that is totally natural natural which is 99.79 percent uh but it also says 100 percent natural so uh let's see it has shea butter coffee seed oil which i told you about and even though i do get a lot of sleep i think this will help me look a little brighter and better so and that's by frank body and the price of this, I think, was around $23. And it's a 2.71 ounce, which is a nice size. Okay, now the other things that I bought, I thought I would just kind of do a little play with makeup with you. I'm going to take off the corrector that I have on now so that I can use this e.l.f. product, which is the Full Coverage Satin Hydra, hydrating camo concealer. Now, I'm not really dry my skin. I do like to hydrate my skin because I just think, especially as you get older, it helps your skin and you look and feel better. I think so. I think so. I think. So, I do use hydrating products. I don't use a lot of oils because they do kind of irritate my skin. My skin is sensitive. It is combo. I will get like dry under eye and a little bit dryness here, especially in the winter. And then in the T-zone, I'm like normal to oily. My eyes look a different color. I'm sitting in, in my room that I share with my husband, our bedroom, and I'm sitting at my new vanity that I got for Christmas. Uh, I'll try to put a picture in here. If I don't, you can check out Lulu's Beauty Group on um, Facebook. 
I will put that down below and I posted a picture there. Okay, so I took off my concealer or corrector. The one that I had on was the Tarte CC Cream and it's the under eye corrector. And what I might do is do like compare to see what I like better. And of, of course, this is just a first impression. I'm gonna put a little lipstick on. Cause I feel a little pale looking without it. This is a color that I got in a beauty box or a product. I normally don't use shades that are this light, but because my hair is lighter, or it's been for a while lighter, I do enjoy a little bit of a more of a lighter color, especially for every day. For special occasions, I like reds and pinks. Uh, this is by, it's called the Hola Neon. I guess that's the brand. You can see that and the color is call me and it's sort of like a, a brownish which I never wear but I'm liking and I'm trying to look like in the mirror to see and it's got a like slight peachy color to it so let's go on with the haul and trying on these okay and then this is the elf hydrating camel concealer the color that I got Looks a bit dark, but I did that on purpose. This is the medium peach. I'm one of those people that, excuse me, I believe that when you have a lot of darkness under here, which with the lighting, it doesn't show as bad, but like in that angle, you can see that along there. I think you should go for a color that's peachy and a little darker than your natural tone of your skin because it does a good coverage. Our cover is good. Okay. Most everyone's seen this. This is a big, big doe foot applicator. I'm going to put some dots on this side. And then I'm just going to take my finger. Of course, it is clean. Oh, I think I put too much. Whoa. Needs a little mirror. Yeah, next time I'm just going to put a couple less dots. And I always find that I really like using my finger to blend in concealers. I, sponges are good, brushes are, are okay, but I think my finger really just kind of melts it in there. I like that. Of course it looks weird because it's not blended out here, but... I'm just going to take a little brush and blend out here. I won't go like up on my eye because I blended that with my finger. There. Now let me try this one. Now this is not a concealer. It's a uh, da, 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 corrector. But when I use this, I don't put concealer over it because it does a good job. And this is in the color light to medium. I've way hit pan but I do have another one in my drawer and I just tap my finger all along here this is a little bit more of a pinkish tone where the other has a peach now already I can see that this provides a lot of coverage which I like I don't necessarily want like a ton of coverage on my face like a medium to kind of buildable uh, foundation is what I like, but under the eye, I want to conceal that darkness. This looks more yellow, but I think it's just the lights. A little eye booger, gross. <laughs> I mean, what do you call that little bit of mascara that kind of comes or eyeliner that comes out. They look like little boogers. Okay. I'm not going to set it. Because I think it would make it look too dry. But I like this side better. Let me know what, uh, down below. Do you like my left or my right side better? 
I think this covers more. And I can still see like that line there. Okay. Now, the next product I'm going to try is this ColourPop blush. I've never tried them. They've been out for a long time. This is the Super Shock Cheek. And it's matte. And it's between the sheets. Very naughty, naughty words. <laughs> Could be worse though, you know. There's a couple companies that I wonder who names them. All right, let me get a little brush here. I'll do this one. This is like a mauve color, and I really don't have currently a lot of those. I'm just going to tap because I think this, one more time. And I do a blush on, but that's okay. I just, I often use a couple colors anyway. Look in the mirror that's behind me too. A little bit more. It's nice. I thought it was going to be by the name Super Shock. I thought it would be so pigmented. A little more for the camera. And I do like a little bit of the cheekbone and then I go up. I like that. So that is that. The color pop. You can see my lights in that. And now I'm going to try the e.l.f. No Budge Smudge, Smudge Shadow Stick in Rich Amethyst. I bought this to kind of go together because they both have that mauve purpley color. I need to take off the eyeshadow that I have, but I'm going to try to take it off without taking off the eyeliner. I can always reapply, but still. I just, I didn't put enough. And I'm just using the Garnier Micellar, my, I can't say that, Micellar Water. I've used it for years. I like it. It's good as a first cleanse. It removes makeup, eye makeup really well. See, like, look at that. Don't want to get the mascara or the liner. Should have taken this off before, but I just wanted to kind of do it with you while I chat. That is as good as I think I'm going to get. Let it dry a little bit. Now, I don't always use a uh, primer for my eyes. Uh, sometimes I do. But with this one, I think I'm going to try one eye, the left eye, with the primer. And this is the Viseart uh, Professional Makeup Seamless Eye Primer. Looks like that. And I need my little mirror. It sort of goes on like a face primer. Like, um, oh, I'm trying to think of that one company that has the primers... Smashbox sort of goes on like that. Very like creamy. Doesn't feel like too silicone, but I'm sure there's some in here. While that is drying, I am going to open this up and I'm going to try putting on the e.l.f. No Budge Shadow Stick without a primer and see if it makes a difference. I don't like hardly ever do the compare and contrast, so I thought it would be kind of fun to do. And I just felt like kind of coming on and playing with makeup. It is the 29th of December. Drinking my iced coffee, decaf, and uh, just having fun with it. I definitely will need a closer mirror. I like the way it has, like that. Like triangle it's not flat I'm gonna go along the lash line and continue to go up it's very pigmented really like that and I'm gonna go right where like my crease starts like that and a little bit here and then I like to use a brush to blend out uh, cream shadows and this is a uh, crease brush 
by the company Moda Pro. Moda, M-O-D-A. And now I'm going to blend it out. Now I will tell you, blending it out with the brush like I'm used to and like I would like, kind of takes some of the color away, but not too bad. And then I just kind of go up into the crease, sort of making it like a purple smoky eye. I'm going to take a little bit more on my movable lid. Make that a little darker. And I'm going to take the brush again and just go a little lighter. Kind of concentrate like right on that lash line and then going up. I got a little something there. There, that's better if I put a little bit extra on. So that's good. This should be ready. So let's try it with the eyeshadow primer. Basically, like coloring in. I can't tell yet if the primer makes it darker or brighter, but let's see when I blend. Okay, when I blend, I can see that the color is brighter and darker. Oh, does that make sense? It's bolder, let's say. And I also don't need to go back to put more on my eyelid. So for me, it was best, this was best with an eye primer. I'm gonna take, this is my Foundation is worn off. I'm going to paint this a little bit here and a little bit here where I always get red. That's nice. Wait, lately, I, uh, like for the week or if I'm just running out to the grocery store and even though I wear a mask, I just feel better with a little bit of makeup on. I'll use a concealer on the dark and and the red areas of my skin. And then I will set it with this, which is a Charlotte Tilbury airless, airless, airbrush flawless finish. And I, finish. And I, I just love that product. Okay, so that is my first impressions of my little haul, which was the full coverage camo, hydrating camo concealer lot to say. The color pop, a uh, super shock cheek in between the sheets. And what else did I have? Oh yeah, I'm holding it in my hand. It, this one doesn't say what, oh it is, but it's in black and it's so hard to read. Let me get out of my little area where I put my recycled things. The No Budge Shadow Stick in Rich Amethyst. And I can tell you first impressions, I liked all three of these products. They're really nice. And I especially like this with the eye primer. Any eye primer you use is great. Um, I think I do have the Milani one. I just kind of got into using eye primers lately. Eyeshadow primers or eye, what are they called? Eye primer. Because I do notice that they make the, the color bolder. They make the shadow lasts longer, and I like that. So I hope that you're having a great morning, afternoon, evening, night, whatever time of day you are watching this. And I will be back soon with my favorite products of 2020. Hope you're all doing well. Mwah.